Football is a violent game played by gladiators on a frozen tundra. Welcome to the Red Zone Challenge Expert Picks, brought to you by Firestone Walker Brewing Company, featuring so-called experts Jeff Kingman. For the second <laughs> week in a row, you're asking the question, should I really watch this Thursday night game? <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy West. I have never picked against the Seahawks. You did once and it bit you in the ass. And Ali, the full time Firestone Walker beer guy. Part time degenerate gambler. This is one of those ones I'm like, do I really need to watch football on Thursday night I know, or should I, I stay good on my, uh, my wife's list here? Who will experience 80 ounces in hell? Find out with this week's picks in the Red Zone Challenge. Presented by Firestone Walker Brewing Company in Paso Robles. Oh man, give me a drink. <laughs> you know, you know, you well know. Played, Ollie. You know what's not funny is how bad you stunk last week in the pit. Oh, how bad you stunk too, though. Oh my God, I, I want to. Uh, I, I've been trying to find this out too, Jeremy. Did you p- change your pick on Thursday in the morning? No, I said Miami no, game. No, no, we okay. uh, we we both sent our picks to Jeff separately. Okay, you didn't okay. He, you didn't see mine unless he told you. He was he the only one that picks. saw him. He told me your picks when we were walking through them. See, so it pays to listen to the podcast here. Yeah, but he, he agreed with me. you on everything. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> so I was out sick last Wednesday when you guys did this, and so you knew all my picks in advance. No, we. I actually said my picks first, yeah. and then you guys went after that, which I think we're going to have to change up this week since uh, I got to come from behind here. But you got nothing, I got nothing, and then I think Jeff got two. Yes, which and the, the only um, two that I abstained from you guys were the two that I got. Right, you got Denver and you got Miami, and then I thought I heard some chicanery here on Thursday's show. You guys were talking about changing your pick to Miami. Yeah, Jeremy said he might change his pick, but he stayed true to his form, and and you can't change your pick. Yeah, no, you can't change your pick. Can't change your pick once it's locked in on this, and this is the problem with doing the podcast on the Wednesday, but we got to do it on the Wednesday to get the picks in before the Thursday night game, because this week, the Thursday night game actually is in play. Right. right. All right. So yeah. let's get to it. Should we get to it, or is there anything let's, else? Let's. Do you want? Do you want to start with the Thursday night game? Since since we're already talking about it, we can yeah. go ahead and do this. All right. So we're going to pick the five closest games according to Vegas, and uh, Thursday night is Rams Niners. Oh, I love this matchup. Rams are a two and a half point favorite on the road, uh, up up the road to uh, to to San Francisco or actually Santa Clara, because they they built the st- the stadium an hour outside of town. Um, who goes first in this? I go first because I'm the leader. Um, is that how it works? Yeah, whoever's got the can, whoever. Okay. Wants- can I ask you one question here? Yeah. Why do you love this matchup? Why? Why? I why would anybody love this matchup? On I mean, this is one of those ones. I'm like, do I really need to watch football on Thursday night, I know, or should I stay for, good on my uh, my wife's list here? For the so second, I can keep watching. I'll get to why I love it in a minute. For the second <laughs> week in a row, you're asking the question: Should I really watch this Thursday night game? <laughs> uh, Jeff, who do you like in this? Rams uh, or Niners? Rams favored by two and a half. Uh, I'm going to go with Vegas to play it safe here because it's really a coin toss on this one, and it's whoever doesn't stink the worst. And Vegas doesn't love this either, as I noticed that the over-under is 40. So that's like one of the lowest over-unders on the board this week. So even Vegas is like... (laughs) So I'm going to go with with who they're picking because they put their people in place for a reason, and I'm going to go with the Rams. All right, Ali, what do you think? You know, I I might do do some uh, contrarian picks, but not on this one. I'm also going with the Rams uh, again. <laughs> coin toss along with another game that we're picking on today. So um, yeah, I got nothing. Now got this nothing is this is why this is my my favorite pick uh, of the week because I knew both of you were going to go with the Rams, and I'm <laughs> I'm behind. And I think the Niners are a little bit. I think their defense is a little bit better, and I think their offense See, is a little bit better letting, than we letting, than what everybody you're thinks. Letting homerism. Cl- no, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I realize they went to Seattle and they almost won that game, and the Seahawks are terrible. All right, and maybe terrible is not the right word, but they're not good this year. They're not 
as good as everybody thought they'd be. And so, but I'm still, I'm going to go with the 49ers. Niner Nation, baby, here we go! <laughs> Spoken like a true Seattle fan over there. Yeah. What happened? What happened to you two? He, 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 he bases everything based on how they compare to the, San Fr- to the hey, I'm uh, a homer. Seahawks. I'm a homer. I can't help it. I know. All right. Uh, where do you want to go next? Does it matter? Uh, let's keep it. Let's keep it in state with one of the games. I, I listen. All California games are on 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 the docket this week in the uh, Red Zone Challenge. So either uh, let's let's go to Oakland and Washington. Since all right. So on the board. Oakland is a three point favorite traveling to Washington D.C. to take on the Redskins. Vegas uh, has a lot of scoring in this one. As the over under is fifty three. 53 uh, at, at the MGM Grand, um, Oakland versus Washington. Has Washington played a home game yet this year? I don't, I don't, I don't think, think they so. did. I, think I don't they think opened so. This is their first home game. Philadelphia, then, then Los Angeles. Uh, yeah, you're right. Um, let's see here. I should have this open. Gosh, I should probably base it uh, on, on something much more than, than just a hunch. Oakland's a, <laughs> Oak, Oakland's a three and a half point favorite. I love home teams, though. Um, a lot of road favorites this week. There's a, a ton lot of road, of road favorites, favorites this, week. this weekend. You know they're not all going to hit. Um, nope. I am going to go with the Redskins were tested last week by the Rams. I'm just trying to wrap my head around. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay safe. I'm gonna go Oakland on this one. Going Oakland I'm all gonna, the way. All right. Oakland what do you think, Allie? I am also taking Oakland. I on my uh, my gambling website, it was actually three and a half yesterday. I didn't check it this morning. Are you morning. broke? Are you broke now after last week? Yeah. You should be, <laughs> should be staying away from gambling websites, my friend. <laughs> Is this on the radio? <laughs> no, I have plenty of money right now, honey. Don't don't worry about that. No. Uh, uh, I also like uh, Oakland. I don't know, you know, my thought is if this was in Oakland, they'd be a six-point favorite, six-and-a-half-point favorite, depending on what website you're on. So I actually like Oakland on this game. I don't see what's, what's not to like about Oakland this year. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, I agree with you 100%. Um, you know, the, I don't think their offense has much to offer. Uh, injuries. And then uh, I look at the Red Zone Nation, and 90% of the Red Zone Nation is picking Oakland to win this game at the Red Zone Challenge. So I like Oakland as well. All right, we'll let's keep it in California. The Chargers uh, take on the Chiefs. They're a three and a half point favorite in uh, I was corrected the other day because I said they played in the Coliseum they do not no. they play at a soccer field uh, I don't even know the name of it do you know the name of it StubHub uh, Center StubHub Center no, where the, where the Galaxy called. play the soccer it's a I think Cal Poly uh, Alex G. Spano Stadium might be bigger than it's this place it's half the size I think it is it's half the size <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I think it's like 20 or 30 thousand seat stadium is yeah. what they're saying this is crazy well, that this game is as close as it is the Chargers stink. They choke. They choke. They choked last week. They'll choke again. They may be in this game. They may even be up, but they will lose it in the fourth quarter. Turn but your cards I, a little but bit on this y- one, huh? Yeah, I am. I am. I guess I'm picking first. Uh, Jeff, why don't you tell us <laughs> Why don't you tell us who you like? Uh, Kansas City seems to be clicking on all cylinders. I mean, they've got everything going for them right now. Uh, took on a, a tough, a tough uh, Philly team last week, and um, did so handily, and um, I think that they just seem to be the hot team right now in all the NFL, so I'm going to go with the Kansas City Chiefs. All right, Ollie? To defend the Chargers, I will say the Chargers actually have talent on that team. What they don't have is a coach, and we've seen it two weeks in a row now. Um, It's kind of sad for all the Chargers fans, whatever's left after they moved up to L.A., but I also think the Chiefs are going to win this game. I think they could be the best team in the AFC right now. Um, it's probably between Oakland and the Chiefs, but that's that's one hell of a division. And so I'm going to take the Chiefs also yeah, in that game. I'll take the Chiefs as well. I think they're the best team in football right now going into week yeah. number three. So uh, n- no chance they don't lose this game. Uh, 92% of the red zone nation picking the uh, Kansas City Chiefs Whoa. to beat the Chargers at a soccer field somewhere in Southern California. California. Carson. Uh, Carson. Carson, yes. sorry. Carson. Southern California is Carson, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. So, and then, uh, okay, who's next? Let's go to this one. Let's go, um, 
Let's go. Oh, yeah. Ooh, we got to save that one. We'll go Cleveland. Uh, they're a one point favorite on the road taking on the Colts. Is, is, uh, might, it is, might be noted. Thanks for picking this game, by the way, guys. It might be Good, noted pick. That, that Vegas only <laughs> slightly likes this game a little bit more than the Rams and the Niners at 40 and a half is the over under uh, right now on this one. They don't think a lot of scoring is going to take place, and it's between two miserably pathetic teams. Cleveland, a one point favorite. Favorite on the road against the Indianapolis Colts. All right, so who do you like, Jeff? I like the Cleveland Browns in this one. I um, knew you were going to say that. I, I, just, I knew you were going to say I just that. I just think that this is this is the the uh, slump buster for the Browns. The Browns get <laughs> they get they get they get dealt all kinds of uh, bad luck in the way of injuries and the way of everything, and they still the, the, this is huge. This is going to be huge for Hugh. This is the game that is the turning point of the Cleveland Browns franchise and their. March to success in the National Football League. Um, it starts in Indianapolis. All right. What do you think, Ollie? You guys. You guys. Come on here. I, this is such – this is the coin flip of the week. I'm taking the Colts. I mean, I have no idea. I haven't watched a minute of the Cle- of Cleveland play or the minute of the Colts play just because they're so terrible. Um, you know they lost 46-9 my- to nine to the Rams, right? <laughs> 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 no luck. You, you yeah, literally aware of that, right? Okay. Yeah, no luck. They, well, one more week for Brissett to, uh, you know, to gel. Kinda, yeah, to gel with the team. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping. I'm hoping Jeremy takes Cleveland too, and I can, uh, you know, maybe I can make up a point here. But well, yeah, I'll well, take the Colts in this this game that I hope nobody watches. So you, I'll just Cleveland. say, I'll just say, you're welcome. I'm taking Cleveland as well, and there's no All point right. even talking about it except for the Colts stink. <laughs> They may be the worst team in football. Uh, final, uh, finally. So you uh, saved the worst in the NFC uh, West for last. <laughs> the Tennessee Titans at home uh, to take on the Seattle Seahawks, and the Titans are a two and a half point favorite. Remember, we don't pick these. It Vegas be, picks these. It must be noted, though, that uh, and Ollie will, will appreciate this. When this opened, uh, Tennessee was a one point favorite, so it means everybody's moving. Uh, towards the Tennessee Titans on this one, I almost want Ali to pick first. Um, I, I do. This too, is this is an I, easy one because if you pick against the Seahawks, then you know that's that's your only chance of getting a point because Jeff and I don't pick against the Seahawks, we, even in down times. Do, do or we, do we, Jeff? Do we not? <laughs> I have never picked against the Seahawks. You did once, and it bit you in the ass. So please pick against the Seahawks. I think this week uh, they'll figure out a way to right the ship. I know that uh, Ali last week you said that the big the big uh, waiver wire acquisition was Chris Carson. Jeremy actually uh, trading for him in fantasy football. I didn't get him on my today. waiver, but I was able to get a Martellus Bennett for a Chris Carson trade that's, to a Packers fan this morning. What happens at our when, league. You, when you yeah, have Packers right? fans? Yeah, right? Yeah, that dumbass. Like that. When you have Packers fans, you can... <laughs> You could dump a, a, a second tier uh, tight too, end for too uh, much uh, for a, a, a bell cow. Right, too much cheese between the ears and over there. So, uh, <laughs> so I, I think I think they'll figure they'll get it figured out this week. And I, I think the Seattle Seahawks. They, listen, they're a preseason favorite in the NFC West. It looks like it's not going to take much to win the NFC West, but I still think that they like to win and they will beat the Tennessee Titans. Uh, well, shoot, now I maybe have to change my pick because I feel like this is bad luck. Ali, uh, I know you're going to pick Tennessee, right? I hate to do it. I hate to do it, and it bit me in the ass last week when I took, you know, Dallas, which had a good offense versus a great defense. I just don't know how Seattle's going to score in this game is my only question. I mean, Jimmy Graham. Two weeks. <laughs> uh, Jimmy Graham might be hurt. Not going to be Jimmy Chris be Carson. Hurt. Chris Carson and Jimmy Graham, you watch. (laughs) They've run and run and run it again. Yeah, I mean, again, I'll take Tennessee since you guys are, well, one of you has taken Seattle so far. We'll see how uh, how much a Seattle fan the other one is here, but. I am I I, I am I am, Listen, I'm such a I'd homer. I'd rather take the hit in in the uh, in a point to you, Ali, than have karma go against my Seattle Seahawks all season long. We're only in week three, I believe. 
Uh, Aaron Rodgers said it best a few years ago when he said R E L A X. Relax, <laughs> relax, <laughs> relax. Twelves. Okay? Seattle Just always relax. starts slow. Ollie. Relax. Twelves. That's yes. true. Let me tell you that this. I, I think you know this, but I mean, Seattle's a slow starting team. By week three, we're going to get it together. We're going to uh, go in. It's going to be a big victory. Usually by week five, is big get it victory. Together, all right, please. put the money in Vegas on Seattle this week. Oh, all right, I, I like the that. Seahawks. I, I like the Seahawks. Forty nine percent. They are the underdog in the Red Zone Nation. They were 51-49 yesterday. Tennessee today at 51% over the Seattle Seahawks at 49%. So any there you th- go. Have you, have you put any thought into the uh, beer that you'll be choosing, Ali, for the uh, beer bong? <laughs> or I guess I'll be, it'll be, I'll be choosing You'll be it. choosing I'll right be choosing now. the I've been thinking a lot about it, actually. I'm going to start training my stomach here. You're going to see me in the garage building a beer bong here. My wife's going to be out there. What are you doing out there? <laughs> Nothing, honey. Nothing. <laughs> so... Should we, do, are we should we do this at Firestone? Because you guys have like scaffolds and like bridges, and if we build this really huge beer bong, like it, it's your fault because you said your brother or Jeff was telling me was in a fraternity, and so we we could stand up on top of those tanks outside, the real big ones, and we could have a beer bong that goes all the way down to the bottom. <laughs> I can I can get with the engineers here at the brewery and see what they can come ask, up with. But I'm sure yeah, you got ask David I, Walker. I that's David Walker. I don't mind that at all. My brothers actually called him up after I heard the radio spot because uh-huh. I told him I'm like they didn't they didn't play a single one of my picks. <laughs> they didn't say anything about the beer. All they talked about was the beer bong. They yeah. had my whole clip about beer bong and stuff here. And he's like, "Well, did you tell him the name of the beer bong?" And I'm like, "No, what was it?" He was he's like, "It was called King Ralph." I was like, oh, oh yeah, gosh, that's right. That makes sense. <laughs> of course it was. <laughs> of course it was. <laughs> well, King Ralph the Second will be making his appearance after Super Bowl Sunday in 2018. I don't know. We'll have to figure out what. Well, we know I'm, that. Listen, I'm going to go out right now and say I am not going to buy some terrible Thunderbird like Jeff has been talking no, about. Uh, it will be. It Hurricane will be ice. good or it's whatever. Be it beer. Is. It can't be. It can't be fortified wine. Uh, so the closest. It thing will be to a quality beverage in the beer realm is Hurricane Ice. Uh, you guys vary on two different picks this week. Uh, you, uh, Jeremy, you're picking the Seahawks. Ali, you're picking the Titans. And Jeremy, you're picking the Niners. And Ali, you're picking the Rams. Uh, okay. So th- there's not going to be somebody who... And I also picked Cleveland over the Colts. He picked oh, yeah, the Colts. that's right. So we so have three, three separate picks. Yes. So, uh, oh, boy. There's a possibility that one of you could go over. 10, but there's not a possibility that two of you can go 0 for 10. Unless we have ties. What if we have ties? Oh, no. Oh. Is, that, is that as good as going 10 and 0 if you go 0 for 10? Yes. <laughs> Statistically, it's like impossible. It's impossible, right? All right. <laughs> Well, if I if I choose, if I go for ten this week here, then I'm gonna have my uh, I'm gonna have my son start picking him. He's five years old. He's gonna do a better job than I am. If hey, I got a case. question for you. What do you say? One of these days, you, we get you to come into the studio and you bring some of that Firestone Walker uh, swill with you. You you know what? I, I can probably do that here. I, I can talk to marketing. I can make that happen. Okay. So, and swill's can not I, a bad uh, word, is it? I'm not trying. I'm no. just just another word for beer. <laughs> I think you insulted David Walker. We're so speaking as if we're I might have pirates. to call him down after this podcast, but no, Swill's fine. I'll take it. All right, we would hey, love that. Hey, uh, what's your what's your what's your most like? Okay, what's your favorite item to get on the menu at the tap room for lunch? My favorite item at the tap room, I like the uh, the fish tacos are pretty tasty over there. The bur- the burger's pretty tasty. The burger can be a little messy, so bring a bib. Okay. Um, the bun is money. Uh, I was going to say burger bun because money. the bun, I don't know where you guys get those buns, but they're freaking awesome. Yeah, definitely. The chopped salad is is really good, but it's a lot of salad. If you uh, if you like chopped salad, that thing's tasty. There's quite a few good items actually on that but on that menu. You said fish tacos first, so I I'm gonna go with yes. fish tacos next time I'm up there. Okay, All right. okay, thank you, thank so. you for the, for the suggestion. Because <laughs> I always I always order off the appetizers menu because I know that's safe. But I, uh, unless you have some inside intel. That's my that's my rule of thumb. When I go to a restaurant, I never order anything that's an entree. I only order appetizers unless I have some intel on it because you can't mess up huh. appetizers. That's true. I'm very that strategic. Is true. See, not only am I strategic in my red zone uh, challenge picks, but in my in my lunch ordering uh, oh, abilities too. Last thing, uh, what do you do there? Oh yeah, I'm Besides actually pick- the uh, I'm the production manager here, so 
um, I kind of schedule everything coming in and going out of this place. I make uh, schedules for the pack line. I make schedules for the brew house and cellar. And I actually get with uh, the people that take in the orders and make sure we're, we're uh, meeting all of our demand that's needed oh, up here. He's so, an importer-exporter. Look- how the hell? Exactly. How do we get you for twenty to twenty to thirty minutes a week on the phone? You know, that, that's a great question. Here, my boss has been gone the last two weeks, so don't say anything about okay. this. But right. uh, I just been sneaking in an office here and talking to you guys while no one's looking. <laughs> All right, well, cool. we'll, we'll let you go, Ollie, because I, I would hate for somebody not to get their beer. That would be that would I would feel terrible about that. You got it, guys. Hey, one last thing before you guys go. Just want to throw it out to everybody. Um, our latest in our uh, Leo V. Ursus series, the Inferos, is coming soon here. It's a uh, double IPA made with rye malt. Um, you can buy it at the store in uh, four 16-ounce cans. I know they look a little pricey, but for a double IPA, four 16-ounce cans, it's actually quite a deal. Um, highly recommend that beer. If you guys are out there on a Sunday and you need a beer to drink, so yeah, just wanted to let I've you been guys into that, know. I've been into that Adversus, and I know was that the oh, first okay. one you released? No, it was. Um, uh, Fordham was the first one. Adversus was the second one. Now okay. this is the Inferos, which is the third in the series. They're really good. So it's a yes, they are. Yes, they are. It's amazing that but. you guys can continue to get better at what you're doing when I already thought it was the top. So. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. I'll I'll spread the word. Yeah, if it gets us more, here. if it gets us more free beer, please tell everybody. <laughs> All right, <laughs> swell. I, I believe the word you're looking for is swell. Yeah, don't use that. Actually, that was I should have. My dad always used to say, "Jeremy, why don't you think before you open your mouth?" That was one of those instances. All right, Dolly. Uh, All right. Fellas. Don't work too hard. All right. See you, buddy. All right. Talk to you guys soon. <laughs> Bye. I always want to wish him good luck, but... Uh, no, you're, I, bad You luck. don't want to wish him bad good luck. Bad luck to you, Ollie. All right, so there we go. There's the five games again, and uh, you can uh, always get this uh, right here on the uh, on the podcast. Don't forget, you can play the Red Zone Challenge if you're hearing this for the first time. Uh, to win, though, you have to live in the, within the... Uh, within San Luis Obispo County? Is that right? Do we do Northern Santa Barbara County? you got to live in California. Yeah. Um, so if you're and, outside of California, you can't. But we're giving and, away a trip to Vegas. Santa Barbara County and, and San Luis Obispo if you, County. Yeah, if you and live with, Monterey County. If you live within the area, a trip to Vegas, uh, two nights at the MGM, round trip airfare on a Legionnaire, uh, $500 cash, tickets to see the Jabba Walkies, plus uh, backstage meet and greets with the, the Jabba the Jabby Walkies. So anyways, uh, go to KZOZ.com, click on the Red Zone Challenge. It's all brought to you by our friends at Firestone Walker Brew in Paso Robles. You know them as the 805 guys. Uh, get to sign up there.